Tracy Bowman. I just <clears throat> put my base paint down here, making sure that we got good coverage. And I am using the color to go by Sherwin Williams today. This color is snowbound. <clears throat> so it's a type of white. I used to take down my spinner, but then I stopped so I could tilt if I wanted to. <clears throat> so I'm spinning out my base paint. I want it spun out pretty good. Uh, I don't want to leave lots of paint on the canvas so my flower doesn't fly away. center in gold. And now I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to use a plum flower with a blue and gold center. So let's see how that one turns out. Okay, so this is a five by five canvas. And I'm going to put two flowers on here. So I always do it off center. You don't need a lot. Maybe a tiny bit more. And now we'll work with our leaves. This is sap green. my flowers to be variegated so I will uh, put some colors in that. I particularly like using this um, flash green by Arteza. dribbled. This is Glorious Gold by Deco Art. And this is Espresso by Deco Art Metallics as well. Okay, we got some bubbles. Usually don't worry about them too much. Oops, I wonder. I only got a little bit of this cell activator left, I tell you. It lasts such a long time. I mix it up by the teaspoon, which is three teaspoons of Floetrol to one teaspoon of Payne's Gray. I like to use the Payne's Gray. It's just a little softer. And it lasts for quite a few paintings, I tell you. Okay, so here's my mini blower. I love using that. Now I blow the cell activator across those colors. Don't worry if your flowers get misshapen.
Okay. Look at that. That Australian Floetrol does not disappoint, I tell you. <clears throat> so, now we can work with the flowers. I'm going to put a bit of blue. I think that would give a rich color to these plum colored flowers. <clears throat> And I want some gold. This is Fine Gold by Golden. Just a bit. And I find when I, if I lift up quick, it doesn't drip too much. There we go. Okay, and I want some real definition here. So I'm going to use both white and black cell activator, but I'm going to start with the white. Just a drop. And then we'll use the black on top. And then I see a bubble I want out. That. and there's still enough in there for another painting that's just crazy okay so whatever flower you do la uh, last will be a prominent flower so i want this one to be that one to be prominent so i'm going to use this one first Okay, there's that one. Now you gotta bring it up high and see where you're landing. You wanna catch it right in the middle. That's a learning curve in itself. And I lift it up, giving it still a little bit of air. So it will help to open up that center and give us lots of cells there. Look at that. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So I love these skewers. You can buy them on Amazon. <clears throat> and we did the leaves. So our leaves, can we can play with them now. But we'll let those flowers set up a bit more. And I just make some... Round circles like <laughs> all right, so that's all set for now. we can play with those flowers. So it's interesting, you take that cell activator, you put it down and then you blow it out. So after you're done, it has to sit for a few minutes so it can come back. It has a very stretchy consistency to it. came out pretty softer than the blue one we're imagining that there's a line right there so okay the next one and we want that center to be very prominent showing in that flower. Let me bring that in a little bit more. All right. X. 
accent those petals a little bit. And then do the same thing with the others and, and don't pay attention to the other flower, just let them be. There we go. Give it a spin. It's very nice. Okie dokie. So I keep, I think my little fun accents will be a plum color because the plum is showing up mostly. Okay. Sweet. Let's see. What else can I play with here? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. There she is. Came out lovely. <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. I love those little flowers in the corner. I love being able to have the negative space to be able to do that. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Tracy Bowman. 
T.A. Bowman Studios in Buzzards Bay and Bowman for Art on Facebook. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and so you can see what comes next. Okie doke. Happy painting. Bye now.